let us look into the a program to calculate the prime numbers between the given range of integers. The main purpose of this program is to design and develop a function called is prime of x that accepts an integer argument and returns 1 if that given argument is prime and returns 0 if it is not a prime. This involves plain division checking approach. The input for this program is a specified range of integer numbers. The output will be the prime numbers between the specified range. Now let us look into the program. This is a program to find prime numbers between a given range. The first line is hash include stdr.h which is the preprocessor directive along with the header file standard input output header file. The next line is also an header file involving console input output header file. Next is the user defined function prime of n. Before actually looking into the function, now let us go back to the main function where the execution of the program starts. As we can see here, int main is the main function from which our program execute, execution starts. The very first line inside the main function is known as declaration where we declare our variables along with their data types. Here we have variables such as x, y, i and flag which is set to 0 all of them belonging to integer data type. The next line is clear screen which is used to clear the output screen. Next we need to have a specified range in order to print our prime numbers between that range. So in the printf statements we want to enter our given range. Hence that range involves two numbers, one a starting number, one an ending number. Hence those two numbers would be x and y which are scanned in as an input from the keyboard. The format specifier used are the percentage %d correspondingly for the integer data type. The prime numbers are, we are going to print the prime numbers using a for loop. The for loop consists of i is equal to x, an initialization value, i is less than or equal to y, the termination value. Here we need to note that the starting range is from x and the ending range is with y. All the numbers are scanned first from x to y and then each and every number are checked whether they are prime or not using a function known as is prime. Here if is prime of i is a function which is used to check whether a given number is prime or not. The number inputs for this function are all the values between the range x and y. As soon as this function is prime of i is called from the main function, the control comes to int is prime of int num, where int num is the argument that is passed to this function. Here we have one more variable i which is of integer data type. We are checking for the main condition if the pass number is either 0 or 1. If the pass number is either 0 or 1, then obviously we have to return it as 0 since both of those numbers are prime. Next, we will start from i is equal to 2 and the range is i less than or equal to num by 2 i plus plus. This is because for every number we need to find the factors of a given number. If any factors are there apart from 1 and the number itself, we call them as not a prime number. A prime number is a number whose factors are always 1 and itself. 
this condition checks for all the possible factors for a given number. If there is a factor, then the number is called as not a prime number. Hence, the if number is modulus by i, that is the given number is having any factor, then return of 0 making it as not a prime or else we return it as 1 making it as prime. At the end of this junction, once again the control returns back to the main function. Once the number has been checked whether it is prime or not, it is written back to the main function. If it is prime, then percentage d slash t, we are going to print the given number and set the status of the flag as 1. This is how the program works. If flag is equal to 0, then it is confirmed that there are no more prime numbers between this given range. Hence, we are returning 0 at the last since our main function was declared with integer main. Thus, this is the working of our program. Now, the program is ready for compilation and execution. For the compiling of this given program, we can use it Alt F9. Since there are no more warnings or errors, we can directly execute or run using Control F9. It is asking us to enter a proper range. If I enter the range from 2 to 100, it prints all the prime numbers that are there between this 2 to 100. As we can see, all the numbers are here. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, so on up to 83, 89, 97 are all the prime numbers, which satisfies the prime number range and also the prime numbers that are being printed. Now, let us check for one more trial where I want to find out the prime numbers from say 9 to 10. We can clearly see that there are no more prime numbers between this range. This completes a program to find out all the prime numbers between a given range of integers.